Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. Thanks for being here, you guys. Excited to have you. Always an honor to be um, a part of your day. Thanks for inviting me to be a part of your day. Um, today we are going to do uh, some core work. So a strong, healthy core, guys, is so great. Better balance, better posture, better power whenever we do anything, better control when we lift anything heavy. Um, just overall... One of the best things you can do for your um, for your well-being is to get that strong, solid core. So awesome job on being here. Don't leave till we're done, um, but just a, a privilege um, to be here for you guys. So some fun things, some very challenging things. Adjust however you need to adjust. Take a break when you need to take one. Know that each and every time you come back, you're going to get stronger and stronger. So consistency, my friends, is the key. All right. So without further ado... We're going to extend those arms out to a T and just relax those shoulders. So kind of draw those shoulders down in a way as you lift through the crown of your head. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, we rotate to the right, bending. <clears throat> extending those arms out to a T, lifting and lengthening through the crown of the head. As you exhale, rotate to the right, bend that right elbow, three little pulses. Think of yourself as a little sprinkler and come back to center. Other side, three little pulses, three and back to center again. Three little pulses and back to center. Each pulse pulling you back just a little bit more. So spinal flexibility, keeping that length in the spine and that rotation, let's do one more. And come back to center, release those arms. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward, core strong. Little tap, little reach, and rise. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach, hinge it forward, really strong through that core. So not only are we getting that core strength, reach it out, hinge it up. We're working that lower back. Posterior chain, one more time, reach, hinge it forward, little tap, inhale, lengthen, and sit it up nice and tall, release those arms down by your sides. Nice, let's turn, and we're gonna extend those legs out nice and long, flexing your feet, sitting up as tall as you can sit. Now there's this tendency to kind of lean back or to hollow your tummy and chest and kind of lean forward a little bit, I want you to sit up tall. Okay, so always working on that posterior chain, always engaging the core. We're gonna take that right leg and we're gonna take it up and over, tapping the heel and bringing it back. Now notice if this is happening and you're kind of hollowing out, we wanna stay tall, long through the crown of the head and we take that leg up and in, out and in out and in so we're working hip flexors lower abs rectus abdominis transverse last one and we'll do 10 on the left re-engage sit up nice and tall noticing kind of as you fatigue we start to get lazy in our posture right so we really want to focus on keeping that good posture sitting up nice and tall arms just down by your sides Breathe. If you need to take a break, take a break. Taking that leg up and over. Now this gets greater and greater challenges if you add something that you have to actually lift your leg up and over. So if you have a yoga block, set that right kind of center just to the outside. So on that biggest lift, that's where it would be. Last one. Up and over. Nice. Soften those feet. Reach to the sky. Lengthen. Oh, a little release for that lower back. Relaxing the weight of your head. Just let your head be heavy. Find your breath. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Open those arms out to a T. That sprinkler that we did, we're going to do it again. Only this time our legs are long. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, rotate to the left. Three tugs. And back to center. Rotate to the right. Three tugs. And back to center. Three tugs to the left. And back to center. Three tugs to the right and back to center and to the left and back to center one more time tug two one and back to center release your arms let's rock it back to the point where we can pull those knees in sitting up nice and tall shoulders are rolled back our supported boat pose 
breathe. Let's bring the hands behind us and fingertips are pointing towards your bottom. Now we can keep those knees bent or you can begin to extend those legs. You can extend the legs all the way up if you like. We're going to take those legs straight down, circle them around to the right and up tall. Straight down, circle to the left and up tall. So if those knees are bent, straight down, circle to the right. Straight down, circle to the left. Now you can mix it up. You can do some with the legs long and you can do some with those legs bent, keeping that belly button drawn in. Let's do one more each side. Around and up, lower. Around and up, pull the knees in. We sit up tall, supporting lift through the crown of the head. Really nice release for that lower back. So you don't have to come completely out of the exercise, but you absolutely can if you need to. Releasing the hands. Find that breath, close your knees, flex your feet. Slowly pressing those feet out, a little or a lot, and we're gonna hollow out. You're a giant banana, scooping out through the belly, through the chest, reaching out through those fingertips, and we pull it back in. Taking it out, and pulling it in. Take it out, pull it in. So not, modification is just don't go quite so big and pull it in. Just a small movement, guys. We're still working. As big or as little as you need it to be. Last one. And pull it in. Butterfly. Now we release right out of that pose. Finding those big deep breaths. Mm, head heavy. Give your head a little shake. And let's go ahead and roll it on back up. And we're going to sweep those feet around to the back of the mat. And we're going to come onto our forearm. Knees can be bent, stacked, or you can extend the top leg, or you can extend both legs. Whatever works for you. Extending, arm to the sky. Little lifts and lowers with those hips. Breathe, shoulder right over the elbow. Hips are stacked, and we're moving up and down. So if those knees are down, same thing. Breathe, leg long, same thing. So it's progression. It's wherever you need to be today, really working on those obliques, strengthening that supporting shoulder, doing your best. Breathe, last one, hold. And we roll to the other side. So again, we can be down on those knees. We can have that top leg extended. You can have both legs extended, feet staggered or stacked. Shoulder right over the elbow, reaching to the sky. Lower and lift, lower and lift, lower, lift, lower and lift. Just at your pace. Again, same thing if those knees are down. And you might notice that one side, maybe you're a little stronger than the other. Pretty typical. If you're right-handed or left-handed, that side generally is a little stronger. Not always. Last one. Roll it back to center. Stack those forearms and just hold your plank. Toes or knees. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Little pelvic tilt, guys. Squeeze those buns. And we're gonna alternate tapping knees. Breathe. Last one, release those knees, pull them in, and sit it back to child's pose. Checking in, a little stretch for those shoulders. And as you're ready, go ahead and come over onto your side. And sweep your feet around, slide on down to the top of your mat. We're gonna do some rolling like a ball. Bringing the hands to the shins or behind your thighs, lifting the chest, a nice natural curve of your spine. We're gonna rock it back and rock it up. Stop before those feet touch. Rock it back and rock it up. If you like, transition to the shins, pulling those knees in a little tighter, a little more challenging. Rock it back, rock it up, rock it back and rock it up. 
holding here. Now we're gonna take those legs and we're gonna open them up, either bent knees or legs long. Taking a hold at the ankles, the outside edge of your feet, or your big toes with your first two fingers and your thumb. Same thing, rolling like a ball. This is gonna be fun. Feel free to laugh. You might fall out of it the first couple times. It's about your body figuring out how to get this done. We rock it back and rock it up. Stopping at the center. Rock it back, rock it up. Two more times, rock it back. Rock it up. Last one. Rock it back. And rock it up. Now bring the hands to the outsides of your ankles and close those legs. Flex your feet. Now keeping that support behind your thighs or releasing the support slowly. Lower your legs. Take your time. Breathe. Wherever you are, stop. Point your toes. Lift it back up. Oh, that was challenging. Holy cow and then slowly lower it down wherever you are stop draw that belly button in and lift oh good gravy my goodness okay this time not kidding around slowly all the way down and lower yourself all the way onto your back extend those arms out to a t good job you guys drawing that right knee in towards your chest Lifting that left leg just slightly off the mat. Modification, lift it a little bit higher. We're gonna lift the upper body and we're gonna reach down. Right hand to the outside of that right ankle, left hand just below the knee. Two tugs in and switch. Two tugs in and switch. Two tugs and switch. So we're keeping that upper body off the mat as much as you can. If the neck starts to get tired, guys, just bring the head back down. Two tugs and switch. Keeping that belly button drawn in. One more to the left. Now same thing, only extend those legs. Hands behind the calf and switch. Scissoring those legs. How's that upper body doing? How's the neck doing? Do we need to bring it down? Bring it down if you do. Breathe. Those scissor kicks. No joke. Keeping that belly button drawn in. Slow, deep breaths. Last one each side. And pull those knees in. Release the upper body back down. Ah, just take a second. We extend those arms out. Spread your fingers wide. I want you to feel that space between those fingers. We're gonna lift the upper body. Now we're gonna slowly pull those knees out and away from us. Now you can keep those knees right over the hips or you can begin to extend those legs a little or a lot. And we pulse those arms. Halfway. Good gravy. Oh my goodness. Hang in there, guys. And pull it in. That was your Pilates 100. Did you feel that fire in your belly? Yeah, buddy. That was a good one. Breathe. Let's open those arms out to a T. And we're going to let both knees just gently fall to the right. Mm. Bringing the hands behind your head. We keep that chest open towards the sky and we let those knees still stay over off to the right. Core is strong. And we lift. And we lower. We lift. And we lower. Lift. And lower, really firing up that left oblique. And lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Two more. Lift and lower. Good job. Lift and lower. And sweep those knees to the left. Let those knees open out to the left, getting that really nice stretch for the spine. Opening that chest. 
mobility through those vertebrae. So important, guys, keeping that spine young and healthy. So here we go, keeping that core strong. We lift and lower. Lift, firing up that right oblique and lower. Lift and lower. So noticing kind of where it's challenging for you. Is it keeping the chest open to the sky? Is it keeping those knees, that right knee from flaring open? So there's a lot going on to make this move happen. Three more, three, two, and one, coming back down. And we draw those knees back to center. Bringing the hands down by your sides. Now you might be more comfortable kind of placing your hands underneath your pelvis, giving that just a little bit of a pelvic tilt. That is absolutely fine if that works for you. I like to kind of make a triangle underneath my bottom if that's where your hands are gonna be. If the arms are gonna be down, down by your sides. We draw those knees in towards the chest, extend the legs to the sky and back just a bit. Nice hamstring stretch. Now slowly lower those legs. Now you can do this individually one at a time, lowering or both legs at the same time, really working to keep that lower back on the mat and extend and lower. One leg at a time or both at the same time and pull it in and extend and lower and pull it in. So those legs are glued side by side, knees glued right next to each other. Now the other thing is you don't have to leg, uh, lower those legs quite so far or keep those knees bent, great modifications. So the longer the leg and the lower we go, the more intensity we bring. Keeping that belly button drawn in. Squeezing those inner thighs, last one. Your lowest point, hold. Breathe. And pull it in. Hands to the shins, ah, just below those knees. Pull it inside and just feel that nice release. Slow, deep breaths. Let's bring the hands behind the thighs and rock it up. Let's open up those legs to a nice wide V. So to the point where you're not leaning back onto your tailbone and hollowing out, but rather sitting up nice and tall. Flex your feet, extend those arms out to a T, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, exhale rotate to the left. Take that pinky and reach to the outside of your pinky toe and reach three times. Come back to center. Other side, left hand sweeping right next to your pinky toe. Three sweeps and back to center. Reach, 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 and back to center. Reach, 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 and back to center. Again, reach, 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 back to center. Last one, reach, reach, reach and back to center, release those arms. Let's bring the soles of the feet together and pull those heels in nice and tight. Interlace your fingers along the outside edge of your foot and press those knees out. Lengthen through the crown of the head, feel that length in your spine. Mmm, that feels good. And as you exhale, begin to hinge it forward. Go ahead and just round it over. Now if you need to pull those feet out and away from you a little bit, that's okay. Just breathe. Starting at your tailbone, slowly roll it up. One vertebra at a time. Release your hands. Let's sweep those feet around. Come up onto a plank position. Toes or knees. All right, you guys, this is it. So we're gonna hold that plank, find that breath, and then we're gonna get a really good stretch for our belly. We're going to take it down literally as slow as you can possibly go, keeping those elbows right by your ribs. Just a super slow melt. Take your time. Keep that belly button drawn in. Shoulders right over those fingertips. Neck long. We're going to come all the way down onto the tummy, tops of the feet to the mat, forearms to the mat, palms to the mat. We're going to lift upper body. 
Draw those shoulder blades towards one another. Breathe. If it feels right to you, place those hands back just a little bit along the outside edge of your pecs and begin to lift. A little or a lot. Rolling those shoulders back, gazing towards the sky. Just getting that good stretch for your belly. And slowly lower it back down. Take your time. And press it back to child's pose. Good stretch for your back. A little counter stretch to that cobra. Core strength, guys. As I said at the beginning, super important. Helping better balance, better gait, more effective movements when we're picking up heavy objects. Just keeping you healthy and safe, strong and fit. Awesome work, you guys. Let's walk those hands up. Come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around. Oh, let's turn to easy pose. Rest those hands comfortably wherever you like. Close your eyes just for a moment. I just want you to reflect. With a sense of gratitude, hope, awareness, love, you are amazing. You are strong. You are grounded. Hopefully feeling a joyful heart, a clear head, a strong body. Let's gently bring the hands to heart center. Open those eyes. I can't thank you enough, you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Be well. Remember, it's about consistency, you guys. I love being here with you. I hope you are loving this. If you ever have any feedback for me or need anything from me, please do not hesitate to reach out. Always here for you. That's why I'm here, is for you. So remember that. Be well. Be safe. Take care. And until the next time, namaste.